This video was requested by one of my viewers. If you have any video suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. Alright, so I've already brought this PNG map onto my timeline. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Select the image layer and head over to the effects panel. Start by searching for the basic 3D effect, then double-click to apply it. Similarly, add the transform effect as well. Next, move over to the effect controls panel. Under the basic 3D section, you'll notice three parameters. First controls x-axis rotation, second controls y-axis rotation, and the third parameter determines how far the viewer is from the image, giving that 3D effect more depth and perspective. With the transform effect, we'll handle the position and also add some motion blur. To do this, simply disable the Use Composition Shutter Angle option and set the shutter angle to 300 degrees, which controls how intense the blur will be. Now to animate this in 3D, click on the stopwatch icon next to Swivel, Tilt, Distance to Image, and Position. Move the playhead forward a few seconds. As you tweak these for parameters, a new keyframe will automatically be created. To ensure a smooth animation, select all of the last keyframes, right-click and set the temporal interpolation to ease in. For the first keyframes, set them to ease out. You can then expand these parameters and drag the handles of the last keyframes to the left to fine-tune the velocity. Next, let's create the African map. Select the pen tool and zoom in on the program monitor. Click around the map to create your shape. You can lower the opacity for better visibility while you're working, but don't forget to set it back to 100% when you're done. Within the same graphic layer, create another map using the pen tool again. Once finished, zoom out of the program monitor and choose the fill color you prefer for these shapes. And I'm setting white stroke with a width of 3 pixels. Now set the blend mode to darken, but we can make it even better. Let's bring in an ink drop background clip. This is what you should have so far. To take this to the next level, you can place the same background clip within the Africa map. To do this, simply duplicate the background by holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging it above the shape layer. Extend the shape layer's duration to match the clip. With the shape layer selected, go to the Effects panel and search for the Track Mat Key effect. Then double-click to apply it. In the Effect Controls panel, scroll to the bottom. Since our clip is on Video Track 4, set the mat to Video 4. Also, set Composite using the Matte Luma and enable the Reverse option. You can adjust position of background clip if necessary. Now it's looking pretty cool. But what if you want to slowly reveal your map? Just swap the positions of Video Track 1 and 2, and it's important to nest the image layer. Otherwise, you'll run into scaling issues with the Ink Drop background clip. Repeat the previous steps to set the Track Matte Key effect and make same adjustments to the three parameters. And there you have it. To really enhance the effect, add these two extra sound effects along with this background music. Notice, password is flick map. To make this even more dramatic, start by selecting your map and applying the Lumetri color effect. In the basic correction section, set the saturation all the way down to zero. Next, create an ellipse mask and take your playhead to that specific frame. Set the mask feather value to 300 for a nice soft edge. To animate, click the stopwatch icon next to mask path. Move your playhead forward a few frames, click on the mask to highlight it, and then scale it up. Don't forget to return to the first keyframe and scale the mask down. Adjust the position if needed to fine tune the effect. If you want to add even more depth, consider revealing your text with a cloud, or simply you can repeat same steps, add mask and animate it. Remember, there are no limits to creativity. Now take a look at the final result. 